I got shy. There's people. So basically, I had I was thinking about a lot of like different pros to being a trans man. Especially, I'm gonna say specifically a trans man because I'm not a trans woman, so I can't speak on a lot of things that trans women go through. First off, one of the pros, I'm, yeah, like I said, I don't know if it cut off when I got shy, but I'm doing this because it's kind of painted that it's only like negatives about being trans, but there's like hella positives, and I'm gonna give you the first one. So the first one I would say is the fact that you could choose your own name. And there might be some people out there in the trans community in general that like still have their parents or guardians choose their name for them. But like for me, I got to choose my own name. So shoot, like if you were born and your name was like, I don't know, just something that you didn't really like mess with, this is your opportunity to change it and have a name that's like 100% you. So I think that's pretty cool. But honestly, this this is like a, this is up for debate, but I feel like even though my name is not the name on my birth certificate, well now it is, but like, even though actually it's not i haven't even changed my birth certificate that's crazy but anyways the fact that my name like i chose it i feel like it was still supposed to be christian all along like i feel like god already knew that my name was gonna be christian so yeah i did get to choose it but i don't think i really did but that's up to interpret that's up to that's up for debate bro y'all heard these planes bro i hope y'all can hear me over these planes but there's hella planes right here bro um but yeah so name is the first one second one is i'm gonna try to keep this as pg as possible because i know i'd be I, i've been able to shift in my own content because i'd be saying the most wild stuff but honestly when it comes to having having sex you know with a partner safely um it's fire because i use a prosthetic so it's i'm always ready i'm gonna say it like that i'm always ready so it's not like oh dang babe i can't get it up nah i'm, I'm ready you feel me and it's not gonna go down you feel me yeah <laughs> Bro, I just, I'm editing this and I realized I said that I'm always ready and never goes down. Like, I don't have a dick, bro. Like, I'm over here playing with my Chris Crab set. It's like, this was cricket. But, anyways, it do. Like, I don't always ready. But, my you know what I'm saying? Like, I do feel you, sis dudes. I do feel you because, like, I have a prosthetic and then I have my natural dick. You feel me? Right here. So, it do be going down. But it usually be working. Um,. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave it at that. <laughs> There's no one around me, don't worry. But yeah, like it's not gonna go down. Um, yeah, that's fire. Um, also too, I feel like I was telling my girlfriend, bro, like sex is like a spiritual thing now. So I feel like being trans has like, oh my God. Imagine this blew away and literally is talking about sex and stuff like that. And like trans stuff. It's okay, the person would have been educated. But dude, like imagine, like, okay, obviously, I'm trans, but I still have sex, and the way I have it is like with the prosthetic, right? The fact that I could feel everything when I engage in activity with my partner is like a spiritual thing, and it's just like, dang, it kind of shows me the ability of humans for real. Like, it's not so black and white, like how people think, like, oh, if you don't have this, then it's not gonna feel good. It's like, bro, it feels amazing, and it's just like, it'd be blowing, it be blowing my mind. I'm like, how does this feel amazing? But it does. Also, y'all, peep the peep the feel. <laughs> I feel like it's spiritual in general just to really like have a side of you die and then bring something new but it's not like i died but like i guess kind of because people have to see me in a new light and i even have to see myself in a new light like i've been feeling so gender euphoric lately because like the way i've, I've never seen myself look this masculine and so like so masculine and just so me so seeing myself i'm just like whoa bro like and it's not just, honestly, I realize it's not just the testosterone and like me being trans, it's the fact that I'm getting older, but to be aging in a way that I wanna age is like spiritual, bro. My next point is, I feel like it's such a pro to be able to experience both sides. Like I've gotten perceived as a female and a male in my lifetime. And I feel like it's made me more empathetic to females, but you know, there has been times where I realized that like my male privilege kicks in because i'm like oh i'm a guy now everyone perceives me as a guy so like i kind of forget about where i came from in a sense but you know even having experienced life as a woman or a girl um it does help me like just be more empathetic and like kind of understand things like you know periods or the, un un the un inequalities and unfairness that there is and the divide between men and women and all that type of stuff so i see it more um because i've lived it so that's a pro because you know a lot of people struggle with that because it's like oh well, i haven't experienced that so i can't see your side but i can next i'm gonna say is a pro bro is the fact that i get testosterone some people may 
also argue this but i feel like a lot of cis men want testosterone bro like to inject it to have like extra tea and stuff not that you should be doing more than your dose but i mean if a trans dude wanted to go up on their dose like i could you feel me so it's like i'm basically on steroids I'm not condoning steroids or anything like that but i'm but but i'm just saying um it's definitely cool these little kids are like what is he doing down there i'm telling you i'm in the most random spot in long beach right now yo. like i come to this park all the time and i had to find a spot that was in the sun because everything else was like in the shade there's so many trees here so like i'm literally posted up in like the walk bro let me show you where i'm at real quick so this is the park this is the entrance to the, like the promenade where they have a bunch of workout stuff and like a trail over there i'm literally posted up right here there's like residents there's kids up there i'm literally posted up right here y'all So I'm just I'm defying the odds right here. So y'all appreciate me and the effort in this video. Um, but yeah, this spot is hella sick. It's, the sun is beaming. You feel me? I might look a little glistening, but that's the point. I want to be sun kissed. You feel me? <laughs> okay. Anyways, so I have to check when I edit how many points I cover. But for the most part, I think that's pretty much. I'm not gonna say that's it. But like honestly, there's like a lot of pros to being trans man. Like. There's a lot of pros to being a trans man. There's a lot of pros to being a trans man. And I think that, you know, if we start looking at the pros more, then maybe it'll help us instead of being like, oh, I'm trans, bad thing. But honestly, a lot of the trans people that I've seen, you know, we're not like that, I guess, in that such a um, headspace of like, oh my God, I'm trans, like, I'm weird, blah, 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 like, we're, we're more embracing ourselves and who we are. So I really second that and I really like that because it's true. But yeah, um, y'all want to walk a bit? I'm tired of sitting here. Let's walk a bit. Let's walk. But yeah, hopefully, is there sun? Damn, it's dark as hell on this side. It's like super dark. Like super duper dark. Yeah, it's mad dark. I gotta be faced away from the sun. I face like to the sun if y'all wanna see me. But honestly, I'm gonna end the video off here. Um, that was just like a little, little stuff I had on my mind pretty much about like the pros of being trans and you know, yeah, just what I had on my mind. Um, let me know if y'all... Damn, bro. Let me know if y'all got any more pros. Drop them in the comments. I really want to know. I want to create, like, a list of, like, 50 different pros. And we could publish it in a book. And we could do something crazy with it. So, let me know, y'all, if y'all know any more. Because I know you do. Because I know you're trans and you're watching this. Like, I know you are. That's, that's why you're here. Like, I know you are. And if you're cis, drop a pro being cis. Fuck it. All right, y'all. Peace out, bro.